Hello folks, I'm Ellie Little and this is today's short take. I'm looking here today at the consumer discretionary and the reason for it is I just want to point out a trade that we made um, in the TA Today portfolio. We, we entered into consumer discretionary for two reasons. There was you know, a good push higher but we had a nice volume spike here on this bar after making a new high. That told us that more than likely you know, money was going to come into this group or was coming into this group. And so the very next bar is where we entered, you know, and had a nice push since then. Now, how did, how did we know that? Well, the neoclassical tell was the money coming in. That was a good sign. The fact that it had gotten over the swing point high here and held was a good sign. You know, all the things, you know, the general market and on a fundamental standpoint, oil dropping, gasoline prices dropping, more money into people's pockets. Where's that going to go? On the short term, it's going to go into discretionary fund, you know, discretionary sales. So most things pointed higher and seasonally it pointed higher. Since then, we've gotten a breakout over this swing point high and that would set up the retest regenerate. It hasn't happened yet. What does that mean? Well, when it regenerates, when it retests, in other words, when prices come back down, you would expect this area, this retest regenerate area, to hold and to lead to a further move up. That's what you're looking for. That's what you're watching for. If it happens that way, then that gives you the confidence that this thing can go even higher. If you look at it on a weekly basis, same sort of thing happening there. You know, it's a big push up. Um, over the swing point high, if it can hold it this week, it would be a breakout on multiple time frames, which could lead to an even greater advance. We'll have to see if it holds. It may or may not. It's testing on lighter volume. It's had a big run, so it may not hold yet. But clearly, just as we've seen before, this thing spikes up, drops, spikes up, drops, right? All the way up. I expect this case will be the same, but will it spike up to here and then drop? Will it spike to where it is now and drop? We don't know that on this time frame, but on the daily time frame, we'll be able to see that test on that retest regenerate and make that decision. That's what neoclassical does. It allows you to make decisions based on the evidence of the buyers and sellers in an unfettered market.